Listen, I'm Dean Young. I've been with Judge Moore for 25 years, and I was with him before the ACLU rolled into Gadsden, Alabama, and had their tails kicked. And I've been with him all these years. Let me just tell you something. The same thing is going to happen on December the 12th. All of this stuff is going to be settled, and Judge Moore will be our next senator. Now, Alabamians, I want to talk to you. You guys are seeing us through the national uh, TV shows, but at the local Alabamians, I want to tell you what's going on. I want you to understand, Alabamians, that the Judge Moore you knew two weeks ago is the same Judge Moore. And what we're seeing on a national and a worldwide effort is to stop Judge Roy Moore at any cost. And when I say any cost, Mitch McConnell has spent over $30 million trying to stop Judge Moore. The Washington Post and all the fake media for the last two weeks have said everything they can say about Judge Moore. They're trying to dig people up, put them on TV, and say, Judge Moore's a bad guy. The contest is this, and this is, what's, this is where the rubber hits the road. What are Alabamians going to do? If you can be tricked, Alabamians, with a $30 million from Mitch McConnell, maybe it's 40 by now, and the Washington Post fake stories, if you can be tricked in two weeks about Judge Roy Moore, then they win. And what do they win? Why is it such a big deal? Why two weeks ago did we wake up and we hear all this stuff about Judge Roy Moore that we've never heard? Although we've watched him for 25 years stand for what's right. Always has, he, st he stands for what's right, what's just, and what's fair. And we all know that in Alabama, all right? So why did this happen? I think the future of this country rides on this race. And let me tell you why. Donald Trump just exploded the establishment. This is the first senatorial election since Donald Trump went into office. So the, the magnitude of what's going on here can't be overestimated. You've got to understand, Alabamians, that the world is watching you. You know, we read that story about Esther, it says such a time as this. It's not just Judge Moore for such a time as this. It's you people in Alabama, because you are the ones that are put here, I believe, by God, to make a decision that will affect the course of not only this nation, but the world. Because the world is watching to see what you do. And the question is, can you be tricked? Can you be tricked? Because all hell is coming to Alabama against Judge Roy Moore. Anything they can do, any lie they can make up, any person they can drag up and put in front of a TV camera and say negative things about Judge Moore, it's coming. But don't be tricked because you <clears throat> Alabamians will have to stand up on December the 12th. That's 12-12. And you'll have to show the world that we won't be tricked, that we're not a bunch of idiots, we're not a bunch of sheep like the mainstream media wants you to act like, or Mitch McConnell. They think they can do this stuff about Judge Moore in two weeks and all y'all just run for the hills. Well, they don't know y'all. They don't know y'all. And I'll tell you this, media, fake news people, let me tell you this, Alabamians will go and they'll have Thanksgiving on Thursday. Black Friday will start. Then we're going to have a war amongst ourselves. It's called the Iron Bowl. But I'm going to tell you something. After church on Sunday, and this is what I want you Alabamians to do, I want you all to talk about it at Thanksgiving, and I want you all to talk about it Sunday after church, and I want you all to think in your brain, Judge Moore that we've known for 25 years, are we going to be sold a bill of goods by Mitch McConnell and the fake news? Are we? Are we that, are we that gullible? And the answer is going to be no. I'll tell you right now, there was a poll done last night, media, and Judge Moore's over six points ahead still. Now, yet Fox News can put out their fake polls, and everybody else can too, but he's still winning, and he's never been losing because the people of Alabama don't go for what y'all are trying to sell. So just like you said, Luther Strange and Judge Moore were even Stephen, Fox News, well, guess what? Judge Moore won by 10, and we're going to win again. And that's the message. That's the message, Alabamians. Y'all have known Judge Moore for 25 years. Y'all have watched him, and none of this has ever shown up until right before this election. And again, this election has ramifications 
not only for Alabama, not only for the United States, but for the world. And by the way, <clears throat> that's why you saw Kellyanne come out yesterday and say, we've got to have somebody like Judge Moore. We've got to have someone like Judge Moore. Well, you know, Kellyanne does talk to the White House. Now, why is, why is that? Why, Alabamians, do we need Judge Moore? Well, number one, there's a Supreme Court justice that's thinking about retiring. Now, this other guy, Doug, the liberal Democrat Jones, he will not put someone on there that's, uh, that stands against abortion because Doug, the Democrat, the liberal Democrat Jones, stands for abortion with his own words all the way up until the baby's born. And so that means partial birth abortion. That's who this guy is. Now, he's trying to trick y'all, too. Don't think the Democrats aren't trying to trick you guys. He's trying to trick y'all to make y'all think that he's some kind of moderate. Well, he's not. He's for, he's for abortion till the baby's born. He's for transgenders going into your little girl's bathrooms and boys pretending like they're girls going into the bathrooms with your children at school. And Alabamians, if you've got a teenager that's, that's in the locker room, girl, and one of these transgender people decide they want to be a girl for the day, well, Doug Jones thinks they should be able to go take a, a, a shower with them. So here's what's going to happen. Judge Moore is going to win. Judge Moore is going to go help Donald Trump. He's going to pass tax reform. He's going to build the wall that Doug Jones is against. He's against, uh, you know, Doug Jones is not for stopping Obamacare. No, he is a dyed-in-the-wool liberal Democrat. And Alabamians, we cannot send anybody like that to Washington. So we want to send someone, we want to send Judge Moore to Washington because Judge Moore will help President Trump get done what needs to get done. And all this Jerry Springer stuff is over. And I'm talking to all y'all. We're not going to do this anymore as a campaign. So all you, all you people that run around yelling stuff at Judge Moore, asking him these ridiculous questions, I'm the chief political strategist. And my advice is every time they yell something like that to you, Judge Moore, or to the campaign, just think it's the Jerry Springer show. Don't answer it. Judge Moore has answered all the questions. We believe Judge Moore. We don't believe these women. It's just that simple. And y'all can keep trotting them out if you want to, but we're not going to talk about that. We're going to talk about helping Donald Trump, making America great again. So y'all can quit asking us questions, quit yelling stuff, quit being rude, we're going to say what we're going to say, and, and Alabamians, don't be tricked by this crowd. Don't okay. be tricked. Okay. Uh, in a nutshell, fake news, fake accusers, fake Mitch McConnell, uh, the campaign for this candidate for the United States Senate.